98 and season 99. Now he is back to his old self. Mark Navier, Coach Benji Paras here in the coverage. At yung uh, starter ulit ni Coach for Perpetual, same starter uh, niya nung first quarter. That's right. Peter Van Berguma still at the point guard position. Pero, oh, okay. So Jello Razon, Coach Benji, will not start in the third quarter for them. It's Carlo Ferreira. Oh, yes. Uh, si Razon pala yung wala. Siya yung naiba dito for Coach Mike. Para naman sa San Sebastian, Jesse Somoda and Alex De Soyo will join Romel Calahat, Rex Gabat, and Paeng Are. Ito, kanina pa nagkukulitan itong dalawang to. Joey Parkuma. Nahuli. Huling-huli. Huling-huli. Ah. <laughs> so, third quarter begins. At ito, for San Sebastian, dito sila pupitaw against the... Uh, hindi, ito pala ang ginamit nila against JRU, rather. Perpetual, sila, dito sila pupitaw against Benil. San Sebastian, dito sila nakakuha ng... Uh, momentum. Momentum against JRU. So, yung pinanggagalingan nila, we'll see if we'll see the same San Sebastian in this third quarter. Kapat, wala. Jesse Sumoda. Uy! Tumama pa sa ring, yung tapi ka ng bola. So ito, tinan natin naman for San Sebastian, ano yung magiging adjustment nila to stop the early offense in the perimeter offense of a perpetual. Parkuma. Almost lost it. Jun Roque now. Covered by Gabat. Ito si Parkuma. Shot clock winding down. Parkuma floats up a wild one. And that's gonna be a turnover for the Altas. Ito, nakita natin yung magandang depensa naman from uh, San Sebastian. Na same uh, thing na ginawa nila why they won against JRU. And you see the perimeter defense that time. Jude Roque tried to attempt it twice. Barcuma forced to penetrate. Sumoda. Paeng Are now. Are is fouled by Barcuma. So that's two fouls in the second quarter alone, or in the third quarter alone, for Barcuma in the first minute and a half of action in the second half. So... San Sebastian right now down by nine. Let's see kung anong game plan nila pagdating sa ating second half. Nandito ang kanilang court side reporter na si Lizel Nieves. The second half is crucial. Don't let your guard down. Ito yung pahayag ng mga coaches ng Stags kanina sa dugout kung saan pinalala ni Coach Jan Callios to first get those rebounds. Second, communicate at pangatlo, ayusin ang kanilang transitions. He reminded the Stags to not be careless especially in handling the ball. Handle their emotions at lagyan pa natin ng effort. Dinadaan tayo sa takbuhan pero sisipagan pa natin sa third quarter. Once makuha natin ang offensive rebounds, our scores will flow as well. Will the Stags be able to turn this ball game to their favor? Martin and Papa Bear. Maraming salamat, Giselle. Well, turnover count is a major problem for Perpetual or for San Sebastian rather in this game. 11 turnovers in the first half habang anim lang dito sa Perpetual. So that's something they want to address here and of course, execute better on the offensive side of the court. Pereras. Oh, pangalawang uh, shot clock violation against the Altas. Another good rotation on defense for San Sebastian. Nalolocate na nila yung mga shooter. Mm -hmm. So you see the major adjustment here for San Sebastian taking away the perimeter shot from Perpetual. Kasi yung first half natin, one dribble in, open. Yung mga shooter na itong Perpetual. But now, ito talagang well covered ng San Sebastian yung buong area na yan. Yes, and ang kaiba naman for Perpetual, wala silang uh, option yeah. sa post-up. Oo nga. No, not like dito sa San Sebastian. Dalawa. Kalahat and Sumoda. Ito, Romel Kalahat. Kasing ganit. Ooh. Oh, Gabat! Skying high for that rebound and put back. Perfect timing. And San Sebastian is within six. Perpetual. They're ahead right now, pero hinahabol sila ng San Sebastian. Let's go over to their side. 
Let's go over to this side. Here is an update coming from Julia Ong as a four-point play opportunity works for Chris Pagara. Ngayon pumunta tayo kay Julia. Julia, go ahead. Martin and Papa Bear, Coach Mike is loving the energy the Altas are giving today. He commends the team for sharing the ball well and making the right decisions inside the court. Sabi pa nga niya, di ba ang dali lang ng basketball? Kailangan lang natin maging consistent. Back to zero na. Itong third quarter daw ang pinakamahalaga. Kinorek din ni Coach Mike na ang team na kahit ba nakakascore pag hindi parte ng sistema, dapat silang mag-adjust dito. Today, will we finally see the Altas a lot expected to be? All for now, Martin and Papa Bear. Maraming salamat, Miss Julia Ong from Perpetual Side. That's the first basket of the Altas since the two-minute mark of the second quarter. As we take a look at that miss from Paeng Are, tignan natin, Julia, kung may pagpapatuloy ito ng Perpetual because consistency has been their problem in the past few games. Good bother from San Sebastian. Back and forth we go. Paeng. Extra pass, Gabat. Oh, misses. Sayang. Ang ganda sana ng intensity nito ng San Sebastian. Starting with a good defense. Pero from uh, Mike Sagig, okay, coach, maganda yung hindi sinabi niya, pinopoint out niya. Yeah. Na, okay, itong, of course, player ka, you have the talent, you have the strength, you have the speed. Okay. Uh -huh. Kaya lang kung wala kang kumpiyansa, hindi uh -huh. gagana lahat eh. So, ngayon, yung build up niya, ay yung mga, yung mga confidence ng mga players. Ito muna, yung four-point play kanina ni ito ni Chris Magaran. Big fire extinguisher for the perpetual altas. Pero ito yung mentes. Oo, oh, ang ganda na sana ng play na yun. Nando na. And there's a foul on Mark Denver Omega. Yung kumpiyansa sa perpetual na sinasabi ni Coach Mike. Usually, nagmamanifest pagdating ng second half, Papa Ben, no? Yes. Actually, itong second half na gumana lahat. Oh, battle for the board. It ends up with Ferreras. Still a 10-point lead for Perpetual. Almost four minutes gone sa ating third quarter. Sa kayo yung Perpetual, ano? Kanina, si Barcuma, ngayon si Orgo. Grabe yung pressure nila sa point guard. Both very pesky defenders. Roque. Masyado malakas. Rebounded by Philip Rico. Masyado malapit para sa kanya. Layo pa niya. Masanay siya. Half court. Oh! DJ Philip Rico. Able to cut the lead down to eight points. Time out, Coach Mike. Filiprico, he was the one who got the rebound and just took it coast to coast. Saw the opening, went to it right away. Yung kanina ng four-point play ng Perpetual, that's their only score. Mm. Itong quarter na to, halos patapos, uh, halos sa kalahati na tayo ng, uh, ng uh, quarter. That's right. Yun lang yung high score nila. Ang tagal nilang napako sa, sa 35. Halos apat na minuto. Are more than four minutes now. Ito nga uh, scoreless ang perpetual from the field. Going back to the two-minute mark of the second quarter. Much needed for the perpetual altas. Pero itong San Sebastian, may hundi-hundi. Kinakayod itong labang nila. Sean Orgo. Rocky for three. No. Sumoda secures. Familiar play for perpetual. Trying to get an early offense. Here's Jesse, sending it out. Are thinking about it. Instead, he attacks. Good block from Pagaran. Are gets it back, though. Sumoda is free for three. Kaboom! Jesse Sumoda cuts the lead down to five. Speaking of confidence naman, itong kumpiyansa ni Sumoda. Taking that shot from the outside, na kailang mintis na siya. Hindi ako nagkamali, dalawa na. Kaninang first half. 
That's only the second triple of the game for San Sebastian. Nakawala si Nunez. Perfect pick and roll for the part of Perpetual. Hindi sumagin tao na iwan. But momentum has been on the side of San Sebastian. Talahat! Yes! Dalawa. Dalawang poste ng San Sebastian. Sila naman yung nakakascore sa labas. Open looks for both Sumoda and Kalahat. Back-to-back -back triples for San Sebastian. It's down to a four-point lead. Uh, was once a 13-point advantage for Perpetual, and they turn it over. Ito yung big adjustment ng San Sebastian, starting by playing good defense. Ito, nakawala si Jericho Nunez. Sir Anton Tamayo, the manager of the Perpetual Autos, former Autos himself. Pero ito yung pangalawang tres puntos. Para kay Romain Kalahat, Desoyo, Miss Pires. At ito pa yung sinasabi kanina ni Lizelle. Kailangan nilang bumawi sa offensive rebounding. And now, they're starting to outwork itong Perpetual Altas, Papa Bear. Yes. At sila naman yung uh, kumokontra sa ginagawa nitong Perpetual. And uh, maganda yung, uh, mag mag naging maganda yung takbo ng offense for San Sebastian. Hindi na sila pilit. Oh, just an empty trip for Pastel that time. Here comes Cello Rezon. Jericho Nunez now will back up. And they will go to their point guard, Sean Orgo. Gelsano. Oh, telegraph. Timed perfectly by Philip Rico. He misses. Wala pa rin. Two misses on the break for Philip Rico. Maganda yung defensa. Yung pinakita nito for Penwal. Razon. Razon is left open. Wala. A rebound ending up with Kalahat. Here comes Desoyo. Desoyo doesn't get the bounce. Ball is stopped around. Paingari now. Tend to work with for the Stags. Now five to work with. They need to take. Kalahat stolen away by Orgo. Good help. Sean is on the move. Sean stop and pop. It doesn't drop. He gets it back. They go to the corner. Razon reloads. Wala pa rin. Ito ulit, ano, nakita natin. Nagpapalitan ng intensity. <laughs> Trying to match his other's intensity. Itong uh, parehong koponan. So far, pareho din ang resulta. Parehong resulta. Uh, from both. Nagmimintis <laughs> din. Under three minutes left in the third quarter. sa ating laban in our first cutie cam of the day. Ito alam niya na nasa big screen siya pero hindi siya tumitingin. Nahihiya. Nahihiya. Ito naman. Oh. We have students. Ito from Perpetual side. Kanina, EAC student yun. Naghihintay para sa second game natin. Ito naman mga dumayo. Oh. Alam mo lang kung saan niya. Huh? Taka saan? Taka Perpetual. Taka Perpetual. <laughs> Ito, cutie cam. Nahihiya. nahihiya. Oh, nahihiya. Yeah, mga fans natin from Las Piñas. By the way, speaking of Perpetual, batiin natin, of course, always supporting them. Sir Tony Tamayo, Ms. Daisy Tamayo, or Dr. Daisy Tamayo, Dr. Anthony Tamayo, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Richard Tamayo, and Sir Anton Romulo Tamayo. Thank you for watching. Meantime, San Sebastian. Si Soyo, no? Hindi pa rin niya nakukuha yung timing. Wala pa rin yung rhythm niya. This is the captain of Pastet misfiring from the field. Gansano. Parkuma. They go back to Jello. Razon. Four to work with. 
They need to take Markuma, the heap. And it's a shot clock violation. I believe this is the third shot clock violation for Perpetual in the third quarter as well. And again, yung defense nitong uh, San Sebastian. Ang, ang ganda nung uh, pagkaka-adjust nila. Kanina nakakawala yung lahat ng uh, uh, handoff, yeah. early screen. Pero ngayon, nakuha na nila. Sumoda, underneath, Jesse goes too strong. But you're right, Papa Bear. San Sebastian, ni-lockdown na. Yung perimeter shooting nito perpetual. Oh, dikit na dikit. Talagang uh, yung defensa talaga nila, eh, no? Pereras, bothered shot. That one rims out. And it's a foul on Jericho Nunez. So Perpetual couldn't buy a basket. They've only scored six points in the third quarter. Habang San Sebastian, 11 puntos na. And this is after a solid outing from the field in the first half. And then to pan bad news for Perpetual, nasa penalty na sila. Uh -huh. Samantalang itong San Sebastian, one foul pa lang. So with a minute and 41 left in the third quarter, this is something San Sebastian can take advantage of. Jacob Shanoda, nasa linya ngayon. So far, more attempts for Perpetual at the free throw line. 13 to 12. Slight advantage only for the Altas. But the score is 38-41. Naagaw. Pelebrico, Shanoda. Are with a good save. Heads up play for Paeng Are. Masyado malakas yung pasa ni Samoda, pero good effort kami from Are. Tignan natin to. Are, oh, munti ka nang lumabas ang bola. Able to save it to Philip Rico, who got fouled. But for Pedwal, I mentioned earlier, ang mas maraming turnovers nung first half natin. San Sebastian. Pagdating natin ang third quarter. Perpetual in the third quarter alone, Papa Bear. Seven turnovers for a total of 12 in the game. And yung free throw natin during the first half, itong uh, Perpetual, 9 out of 12. 5 out of 8 itong uh, San Sebastian. So, San Sebastian. Malay violation. Isa pa para dito kay TJ Felebrico. A minute and 23. Left in the third. Five on the floor for Perpetual. We have Calzano, Nunez, Pagaran, Razon, and Parcuma. On the other side, Felebrico, Are, Escobedo, Shanoda, and Una for Bastet. One more for Philip Rico. He makes it a one-point game. Ang laki ng inabol nitong uh, San Sebastian. You saw uh, the quarter scoring. Or no, the, not the quarter scoring. It's just the scoring here in the third quarter. 14 to 6 in favor of Bastet. Yun yung sinabi mo na malaki ang hinabol dito ng San Sebastian. And it started with their defense. Parkuma, fouled. James Una called for the personal. Parkuma is still down. Got hit. I think in the groin area. Oh, oh yeah. Masakit nga yun. That is a, a quad slash knee. Saka yung problema kasi yung height advantage yeah. nila maliit siya so yung yung tuhod nito nga si uh, Shonoda eksakto dun sa mm. groin niya so Joey Parkuma taking a hard hit masakit yun right at the groin area yung hinahawakan niya dito saka yung uh, pag nagkaroon ka ng groin injury walang ano dyan eh wala lahat eh walang uh -oh. therapy wala yeah. kailangan mo lang ipahinga pahinga tapos Yun yung sinasabi nila na out indefinitely ka. Oh, oh. Diba? 
Kasi walang recovery or at least definite recovery timetable. But Barcuma will shake it off. We know he's a tough guy. Oh, bihira. Bihira masaktan niya. Usually, pag gumabagsak yan, nagpo-pusha pa yan pagkatapos. <laughs> so, may, mahirap mag-pusha no. pag, may ganyang, pag may ganyang pain. Hindi, <laughs> alam mo talaga, masakit yun. And he heads to the bench. Didn't even need people to help him to the bench. Ayun know, sabi niya, sige, chill muna ako dito. Oo, uh, kailangan lang niyang ipahinga yan. And Cyrus Nutura, our perpetual starting to miss from the free throw line. They only missed three free throws. In the first half, Cyrus Nitura, limited production today. Only three points, two boards, and one steal. <laughs> After a stellar game against Benilde, he had 16, 7, and 7 against the Blazers. He makes it a two-point game. Exactly one minute left in the third quarter. Oh, almost a steal. Escobedo recovers. It is a completed steal for Nunez. Razon. For the part of San Sebastian, kailangan talaga nilang ipato na eh. Kasi mapuputokan sila ng 8-second violation. At nabasa yun ang perpetual. That was their plan all along to come up with the steal. So, all right. meron challenge. All right. Because crew chief Toti Celeste was talking to Coach John Callios. Coach John will use up his challenge. He's seen the last touch here in the Inyatay Challenge. So it's just going to be a lot more. Yes, it's going to be a tail end of our quarter. Let's see what happened here. Let's see if San Sebastian has a case. Oh, they do have a case. Kasi naatapikan itong si Jelo Razon. Tama sa paan ni Razon, tumama. Ito yung, this is the tap from behind by Kalahat. Oh yeah. So a lot of angles to look at for our officials led by crew chief and FIBA international referee Toti Celeste. So they okay. reverse the call. Successful. It's San Sebastian basketball. So, a successful challenge, as you mentioned, Papa Bear. Ambilis din ang mata ni Coach John Carlos. Oo nga eh. Nakita niya yun. <laughs> Talas din. Malabrico. Wala. Break. Oh, counted then the foul for Chris Pagaran. Yin yung nasayang for the part of uh, San Sebastian. Successful challenge. You miss your uh, shot on your offense. Tapos, nakarong pa ng uh, two point play opportunity for Perpetual. And he has been the steady guy for Perpetual, especially here in the third. Chris Pagaran earlier with the four point play. Now with the three point play opportunity. He just missed the free throw, but he's the first guy in double figures for them with 10 points. Escobedo. Escobedo has it. Escobedo sends it out. Paengare. With six to work with. Are. No. Rebound for Kalahat. Kalahat wala pa rin. Escobedo ends up with it. Raymart is bumped. And that's a foul on Nunez. Again, for the part of uh, San Sebastian, sila naman yung merong uh, lugi. Ito. Burado. Oh, si oh, Escobedo. Na lugi sila sa, sa height. Uh -huh. Yung tumama sa kanya. Yung mukha niya tumama di sa oh, oh. <laughs> midsection nito ni Nunez. Hindi hmm, naman sila dya. Yeah. Kaya lang talagang uh, gusto niyang drumo charge. Good sportsmanship as well between those two, Nunez and Escobedo. So, Neymar will have a chance at the free throw line. Not out, out of 14 are the stats from the line. They're trying to complete this comeback and take back the lead. Escobedo now one out of three. 
from the charity stripe. In the season, yung, oh. Oh, sorry, ito yung opportunity mo, itong free throw na to, to lessen the lead mm. of Perpetual para patapos itong third quarter. And Escobedo takes care of business. Three-point lead. One second for the Altas. Mitura up oh. and in! Beating the buzzer. Dalawa na yun, ha? First quarter and third quarter. Buzzer beater for Perpetual. Earlier, it was Jun Roque. Now, it's Cyrus Nitura getting an important basket at the horn. And of course, our referees convening and reconfirming it. It definitely counts for Cyrus Nitura. So that makes it a five-point lead for the Perpetual Altas. A slight recovery towards the end of the third for them. When we return, final chapter of this game. Magbabalik ang NCAA Season 99.